Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rich Millard and this is my second book on KDP called Surfer Sam and the Party Wave. Uh, you're here because you're also creative and you want to create a book. I want to take all the stuff I learned along the way, the stuff that took me a lot of time and help you save that so you can spend more time being creative and more time finishing your book. So hope this helps and uh, thanks for visiting. You've got your uh, bleed sizes for the interior of your book. Now let's look at your cover. So basically what you're going to do is this, this information right here is going to help you calculate the size of your cover. So first off, you know the type of paper that you're using for a children's book with color. We're using the color interior type. And that is the um, thickness of every page that's in your book. Um, you're going to basically use that number times the amount of pages in your book to figure out the um, basically the width of your spine. And so let's say that you have... Oh, 32 pages times that number. Let's go ahead and pull out our calculator. So we're using the color interior, so 0 0.002347. And let's say times 32 pages. All right, so that is the thickness of your spine in inches. So what you're going to do, now you're going to look at, you know, basically what we're trying to do is figure out the size of the setup for your book. The... Um, um, the trim size of your book is whatever you decided for, for their purpose here, they're using a six inch by nine inch. So basically this is six inches. This is six inches. This is nine inches. And then this is the width of your spine. So what they're doing to calculate out the exact size of your cover, you're going to do your trim width. So that would be six inches times two. So that would be 12 inches plus the spine width. So that's this right here. So let's go ahead and add this up. So plus 12 that we just did. And then plus 2 times 0.125. So that's 0.25. So plus 0.25 equals. So that is the dimensions of the width of our book that we want to create in Adobe Illustrator. So let's that's that. And then the trim height is 9 inches plus 2 times 0.125. That's the bleed area. So 0.125 on the top. 0.125 on the bottom times 2 is 0.25. So let's go ahead and create an Adobe Illustrator file that has um, those dimensions. All right, so file, create new. Let's go ahead and go to print. Let's do sample cover tutorial, whatever. And then let's go to inches because that's what we've calculated it out. And I've got do this. Okay. So that, if you remember, is the width of our book. So the width is going to be 12.325104. I don't know how specific it allows me to be, but we're going to go ahead and do that. So that is the width of our cover. And then the height is 9 inches is our trim size plus 0.25. So 9.25 because you have 0.125 on the top, 0.125 on the bottom. I'm not going to worry about doing it with bleed here. Uh, just because this one's a little bit more complicated with spine size and stuff. So I've just found it's better just to do it exactly as you want it. Ignore the bleed and just know that your bleed is baked in there. So we open this up and here is your cover. Now, this part, you know, this is where your creativity comes in. I, what I like to do is I like to figure out where the spine is. So let's uh, get a line tool. I'm going to hold shift so you get a nice straight line. Let go of that. Let's go ahead and give it a thicker stroke. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Okay. And let's go ahead and align it to the center of the artboard. So we're aligning it to the artboard. And let's put the center. Okay, so this is where your spine is right here. Now, with smaller children books, there's really not enough room to put like words like the title or your name. So I generally just do like a color or like in my Grumpa Source book, I did like a fake spiral notebook look. But basically, this is where your spine is. I like to denote it with a bar or something just so you kind of see where your layout is. Now, this is going to be the front of your cover, and this is going to be the back. So, you know, let's put down, let's go to layers. Let's lock that. That's your spine. Let's do front. And let's go ahead and lay down. We'll select that layer. Let's put down a font. Front of my book. And let's grab that. Cool. Let's do something like that. Yeah, it looks great. And then um, let's put your name by Rich Millard. Great. 
And what I'm going to do is I like, I want to go ahead and organize that so that it does it like that. So I mean, you go to paragraph and then you can select how it's oriented, left centered, uh, align center, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and make that bigger because I want credit and put it here. And then, you know, you draw your picture, whatever you want to do. You can change your font. Let's do something more interesting. Um, front of my book. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Whatever. There you go. And then this will be the back of your book. So we can do a new layer for the back. Again, labeling is so important. So I recommend don't get lazy with that. Just take the time to do it. You'll be glad you did. This is the back. Okay. There you go. So something like that. And then um, your little ISBN number will go down here. This is where that will go. Like something like right there. So you can have an image here. You can have a description of what's in your book. Again, this is your spine. You can give that um, you know, some type of look or whatever, but this is basically what you're looking at as far as how your book is laid out. Now, once you're done and you love it, you're going to do file, save as, and you're going to export this as a PDF. Let's do save. I'm going to go ahead and not preserve any of my editing qualities because you just need the PDF. You don't want all the layers and all that and go ahead and say, okay. And just like that, you have your cover for your six inch by nine inch book. Um, the same applies to all different types of um, trim sizes. Again, you're just adding 0.125 on the top and the bottom and on the sides for your trim. And then also just keep in mind that you're gonna be calculating off the width of this. All right, so let's say that you submit it and they say, oh man, this is great, but your width needs to be 12.32, not 12.325104. So they want 12. 12.325. So what you could do is you go to your artboard and that selects the artboard that you've built. That's this, you know, the, the, the size of your document. You're going to double click artboard. And what you're going to do is you can literally change what this is. So they, they want 12.32. Go ahead and submit that. Boom. And what you've done is you have now changed the size of your artboard. So now when you file export it, it's going to be exactly what they want and now you're not getting any um, anything kicking you back. So that's how you design a cover. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out. Uh, be sure to check my other videos for other tutorials that might also help you, and also subscribe to my channel just so you can see if there's any new content that might be helpful to you. And also, if you're interested in buying Surfer Sam and the Party Wave, you can find it on Amazon, or you also can buy it at the link below. Um, I hope to see your guys' uh, projects on Amazon real soon. Be sure to list them down in the comments below. I would love to keep up with you guys and find out how your projects are going. All right, thanks, guys.